Welcome back to a new episode where we will be talking about how we can create links in HTML. I want to show you how we could create internal links, how we can link pages together, and how we can create links within the same page. In the previous episode, we created a new page called about.html and the way we navigated to the page was changing the URL manually to about. The reason why it is pretty important to have links on your website is pretty straightforward. Later on, we will be creating a navigation with links because we don't want users to change the URL, which they actually won't be doing as well. Now, in our index.html, I want to create a link that links to the about page. And the way we do this is by using a new HTML element called an anchor element. And an anchor element is to use to define the beginning and the end of an hypertext link. So right below my h2 tag, we need to write down less than, the letter A, greater than, followed by a space, and we need to close it by writing down less than, forward slash A, greater than. Just like the image element, an anchor element needs to have a destination address so that the document knows where to go. And this can be a link to your own domain, other pages, or even other files like PDF or text documents. The opening anchor element has an attribute called href. And href stands for hypertext reference. So let's go right inside of our href opening. Let's hit space. Write down the letter A, followed by a ref. And we need to set it equal to double quotes. And even if I go, well, one line below, write down the letter A and hit tab, you can see that the href is automatically created just like the image, which has a source which will be automatically created. And this means that these fields are required. So let me remove the second one. So in between the double quotes, we need to define the target address of the document. Right now, we want to be redirected to the about page. So in between the double quotes, we need to write down about and the extension, which is punctuation mark HTML. If we save it and we refresh the browser, you can see that nothing is created. And the reason why this is happening is because we need to define a piece of text in between our opening and closing tag. And this will also be known as the enter text. The enter text will be visible and clickable for the user. And since we want to redirect the user to the about page, let's write down about. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that the link is created. And if we click on it, we will be redirected to our about page. The only way we can go back is by clicking on the back button, but that's not what we want. So let's go back to our code editor. Let's copy the href and let's go to our about.html place it right below our h2, and let's change about.html in our href to index.html, and in between the elements, let's write down home. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and the about page has a home page. And if we click on it, we will be redirected to the home page. We can also change the location of our file. So let's go back to our root folder, and let's create a new folder called pages. And let's paste our about.html page in our pages folder. And what we need to do now is to go back to our code editor in our index.html. We need to change the path. Right before about.html, we need to write down the folder. So pages followed by a forward slash and the about.html. So let's save it, go back to the browser, Let's refresh it. Let's click on the about button. And we have been redirected to pages forward slash about.html. What we have done until this point was opening our internal pages. What I want to show you right now is how we could access external pages. So let's open a new browser. Let's write down netflix.com. Let's copy the URL. Let's go back to our index.html. And instead of writing down pages forward slash about.html, we need to paste our external link. 
And we can even change the text in between to Netflix. Let's save it. Let's close the Netflix in the browser. Let's go back to our homepage. And if we click on the Netflix button, you can see that we have been redirected to the Netflix page. But there's a problem. And the problem is that what we're doing right now, well, imagine that you have your own website and you have an external link on it. And well, let's say that the user clicks on it. The problem will be that the user will be leaving your website and he or she will be entering a new one. And from the point of view of a seller, this is not what you want because you will be losing customers. And to prevent this, we can use an attribute called target. So let's go back to our code editor and right after the href, hit space. We need to write down target and we need to set it equal to double quotes. And the target attribute specifies how the destination page of the document in the href should be opened. And there are four attributes that you can add. So let me add a comment so I can write them down for you. So the first one is underscore blank. And this means that you're opening a new window. So let's write it in our attribute underscore blank. Let's save it. Let's go back to the browser. Let's refresh it and let's click on the link. And you can see that we just created a new browser link and we can still go back to, well, our file. The second one is self, so underscore self. And this opens in the same window, which is pretty much the default. So let me write that down. Let's change underscore blank to underscore self. Save it, refresh your browser, and let's click on Netflix again. And you can see that the page is changing to Netflix. The third one is parent, so underscore parent. And this opens the linked document in a parent frame. And this is nothing that special. So let's write down parent, save it. Let's go back, refresh the browser. Let's click on Netflix. And it's pretty much the same as parent. And while well, the last one is underscore top. And this opens the linked document in the full body of the window. Let's save it, underscore top in the target attribute, save it, and well, I refreshed the wrong page, but let's refresh it, click on Netflix, and this is pretty much the same as well. The last thing that I want to show you is how you could navigate on the same page. And in order for us to do this, we need to copy our H2 tag and paste it a couple times. And right below our H2 tag, let's create a new tag called well h3 and let's say navigate to this part if we want to navigate to a specific part of a website we need to give an element an id or a class so let's start off by giving our h3 element an id and let's set it equal to go to and in our answer let's remove the netflix link and just like what we did in CSS with IDs, we need to write down hashtag followed by the name. So let's say go to. Let's save it. And well, let's change the text in between to navigate on this page. Save it. Go back to the browser. Refresh it. And you can see that we cannot see the H3 element. And that's good, so let's click on navigate on this page. And we are navigated to, well, the bottom of this page. But what we can do is to add a couple H2s right after our H3. Save it, refresh the browser. Well, we need to add a couple more above as well. Right now, we need to click on navigate. And we have been redirected to, well, the H3. This was it for this episode, and in the next episode, I want to style our enter element. But in addition, I also want to focus on different styling depending on the state of the link. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, 
Leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.